Hey, what's going on, guys? So today I am heading down to Hua Hin. And I decided to do the same thing that I did when I went down to uh, Padia. I decided I'm going to take the bus. The first time wasn't bad. Now, this trip here is about four hours. So ah, that'll give me some time to uh, take in the scenery. Plus, it'll give me some time to kind of study, you know, my Thai. In fact, I'll be starting Thai lessons here pretty soon. So, um, fingers crossed. Anyway, let's take the adventure. guys well this is our first stop so actually it's pretty good because uh i think we've probably been riding for about an hour so, so the good thing is you know you do get a bathroom break in there and actually it's about four stops before we get to uh Hua Hin. so you can see they have some eateries around here they've got a uh cafe Amazon which is pretty uh, you know which is pretty popular so you do get that break in so that's a good thing actually all I need to do is use the bathroom so right now I'm about to get back on this bus I don't want to hold everybody up you know you never want to be that person so anyway we're going for another hour and uh, I'll hit you guys up later guys this is stop number two real quick this is a real quick short stop night market so uh yeah real short guys time to go <laughs> All right, so we made it to our destination. We are in Hua Hen, or tomato tomato, for the ones out there with the uh, correct uh, pronunciation. But anyway, we're in uh, Hua Hen, so on the way to the hotel right now. All right, so this is the lobby here. And uh, man, like, like I said, this is a, it's a this is a, <laughs> A, a pretty nice uh, hotel um, even a lot nicer than what the pictures were showing on the website um, actually and um, it wasn't bad I mean it's two nights $84 a night that includes breakfast so the total is about 168 and uh, yeah so let me give you a view of the room all right let's go ahead and go check the room out dark in the hallway but that's okay you got a bright light there's always light at the end of the tunnel so okay all right let's take a quick tour through the room so to the left you've got your your shower man this is not a bad room at all you see me in the mirror but uh yeah you got a bathtub in here so if you want to soak in that tub you can do that and Got your toilet, got your bum gun back there. And uh, and actually, you can actually see through the room, and a lot of the rooms are like this over here, but, uh, you know, hotels, but you can actually let that shade down and get your privacy, but 
uh, yeah, so the shower doesn't look too bad either, okay? And coming into the room, king size bed, all right. Got a little um, lounging couch. I forgot what's the, what they call these things. If you know, you can put it in the comments. Chase, I think it's called a Chase, yeah. And then I got your coffee. Now this room, again, does include your um, your breakfast. And, uh, again, it's $84 uh, dollars a night. So total was like 168, but not bad for uh, two nights to kind of go out here to the balcony. If you want to dry your clothes if you happen to wash something. And they do have a laundry facility here also if, if you do need to do that. And let's just get a view from the balcony. You can see the, uh, the ocean over there. And uh, I won't be in my room, you know, in my birthday suit with the windows open. So I'm not so much worried about, uh, you know, the neighbors seeing me. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, hey, it's, it's not bad at all. It's a lot lot more than what I, what I expected. So we'll see how the service and everything is from the first, uh, uh, you know, view of everything. And you always go by your first uh you know perception and i would say yeah I'll, I'll stay again but we'll see we'll see and again just get a quick view of the balcony and then the bedroom again so all right let's go check out the other facilities all right i just wanted to give you all a glimpse of the pool and this is the rooftop and luckily no one's up here right now so maybe they're all out in the city i don't know but look at that sea view Oh man, you, you come on, you know you, you can't beat that. So if you're sitting at home, you need to be on uh, Expedia, uh, Priceline, whichever one it is, booking your ticket to come hang out. Now you got a couple of pigeons up here getting a sip of water. I'm not mad at them. It's not too hot, but hey, they get thirsty too, right? But man, just look at that view. You're just chilling up here in the pool and the water is sparkling clean. I will give them that. I could really come up here, go change, and just come chill if I wanted to. You got a nice breeze, and yeah. But uh, again, just look at that pool and that in that city view. Come on, you, why are you sitting at home? You need to be booking your flight right now. Now again, this is Hua Hen, and a lot of people come here, uh, a lot of retirees uh, in this area, because they say it's like, you know, it's really laid back, you know, the survive, survive, really laid back, people taking it easy. And um, so, you know, it, it's a different side of, of uh, Thailand. And as we venture out, we'll show you some of it. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, let's get a little bit closer. These are the fried bananas, look at that. Oh. I can just feel the heat radiating off of that with the smell. If you could just smell the aroma. And again, you can see people are lining up, so it's got to be good. Wherever you see a line, the food is probably good. And I saw, and let me show you something. Look at this bird under there. Now you figure this is a big, a big vat of uh, grease. So, you know, if he's over there, look putting his life his, his, his life in his own hands. I mean he, he's risk he's risking it all for these these fried bananas. But uh, we're definitely gonna try them so I'll be right back. Oh yeah just look at that. Mm. Mm. Crunchy the sweetness Mm. Now I know why they have a long line. Mm. Man, these are great. I, I, you know, I can't eat, <laughs> eat a lot of them, but man, this is actually good. So this is one variation of it. And um, and this one is like the whole the whole banana. And these are those um this is the real like the, the miniature type bananas. But I mean, you can just, just the exterior of this is just, it's crunchy. Then I just know the inside is gonna be warm and it's gonna have that creamy taste to it. So anyway, let me go ahead and, and prove my theory. Mm, look at that. The 
whiteness of that banana. You can just see the, the sweetness, and that's just that natural nature sweetness in there. And um, that texture, the creaminess with the, uh, the, the crunchy exterior. Mm. Oh. Guys, this is like heaven at its best. All right, moving on. All right, guys, so this is uh, down here at the train station. And uh, actually, they built a new uh, train station, from what I'm being told. We're gonna find the facts out on that. But, uh, so what you have, you know, a little museum out here also. So, yeah, let's go check it out. And what you're looking at down there is the, uh, the train station that's in uh, operation. And if you look over here, they kind of converted this over here to like a museum, zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so they made this into like a museum. You can see the trains right across the barrier here. And uh, I'm not sure if they let you in here or not. It says exit down there, so I'm quite sure that they do. So we'll have to figure that out. But, uh, but for right now, again, if you look over here, You'll see some people on the tracks, and I wouldn't be on the tracks, but hey, each his own, right? But anyway, um, yeah, so if you're looking straight ahead, you can kind of see the train station that's in operation. And that's something that I may do the next time I come to Hua Hand, is I may go ahead and, and try out the trains instead of a bus, just to do something different. And there is a train that goes to Chiang Mai also, and that is also uh, on my radar. So I do plan to do that. And what I want to try and do, you can fly there too, but I just want to try to get the whole train experience. And it's actually an overnight uh, sleeper train. So yeah, I'll take you guys along with me on that. And uh, when I decide to do it, and, and, and we'll kind of check it out. Uh, just kind of looking over here to my left, swinging around. Looks like a little coffee shop here. Now, the one thing I do have to note is right now, you can tell that it's sort of a low season, which it is the low season when you get into the rainy season. But unlike some other places where you still see the traffic go down and there's still quite a few people, it doesn't really seem to be that way here in uh, Ho Hen, but it's always known for being more on the quiet side anyway. A lot of retirees come down here, or you come down here just to chill out, get away from all the, the noise and ruckus. So if you are in Thailand, I would definitely say make your way down to uh, Ho Hen if you have the time to check it out make that little check on your uh your list saying hey did that done that so guys right now i'm actually inside of the uh train station so i'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a view it's a lower season but uh still if you don't like crowds i would say this would be perfect for you me i'm not really a crowd crowd type person so <laughs> this it works for me but of course i would definitely like to come when i can see the the higher you know the higher season too just to kind of get get that feel of it too but just walking around and giving you guys a view and here's a little bit of the timetable how the train runs here so trying to see if i see uh bang there we go right there yeah there we go all right just go ahead and give you guys now guys this is the queen here and this is the king of thailand uh, you got your ticket counter over here and uh yeah so your tickets and your your waiting area so when you make it down here to the train station um this is where you're gonna be now <laughs> i will probably guess that during the high season this all these benches are probably probably filled up. But uh, as for right now, it is the low season. So, hey, you got the place to yourself. <laughs> All right, moving around. This is Hua Han Soy 80. Uh, 
Walking Street Bar. So we're going to go ahead and walk. I, I want to try to be as, um, the word is not discreet, but I want to try to be as considerate as I can. I want to make sure that I'm not uh, just filming people because people here are on, are on vacation and enjoying themselves. So, all right, guys. So uh, I may try to come back down here at night. You always get a different uh different flavor at night than, than you do during the day so with all the lights and the neon the, the, the uh, magic just making it kind of mystical but anyway we'll see all right guys I'll just stop right here just for a few minutes if you look at the, uh, the little figurines here she's actually making these uh, from scratch I mean, <laughs> by hand and uh, you can kind of pick out uh, the different little figures that you want to go on your piece and she will put it together and design it the way you want to do it giving it that personal touch of uh, you know what go ahead so you know and this is in the uh, in the night market So right now I am uh, at the pier. This is called the pier. It's in uh, Huahin. And um, actually a lot of people come out here. It's the morning time now. It's probably about 11 o'clock. And uh, 10 o'clock rather. And a lot of people come out here to do their fishing. And uh, some people just come out here to, you know, chill and, and relax. You know, especially on a morning like this, you get the... Uh, fresh breeze coming across the sea and uh, yeah now the one thing I can say and I know I've been saying this and saying this and saying this and saying this and that is that uh, Hua Hen is I mean it's a chill spot it is definitely a chill spot um, you know a lot more chill of course than Bangkok the big city uh, compared to New York or um, definitely uh, uh patia but uh yeah you come out here definitely a family oriented place and um you know a lot smaller than the bigger cities also but the thing that i found when i first arrived is you could feel it you could feel the calmness it is definitely the definition of sabai sabai you know, which is, you know, man, just kind of take it easy, chill, relax. Definitely the definition of that. And I think it's great. You always have that spot, that one place you can go to and truly get away from it all. It's just peaceful watching, watching the fishermen out here. I'm a little bit a ways away. So of course, as I get closer, you know, I won't, you know, talk as loud as I'm talking now. But uh, just the calmness, the casting, the nets, uh, out there just fishing, got the reels out, and I don't know, it's just a different kind of place. Now, today is a holiday in Thailand. I went live a couple of times, and someone was asking me, well, do I need a car? Do I need a, you know, if you come here, do you really need a car? 
I would say it depends on where you where you are. You know, there are parts of Hua Hin, of course, if you're further away from the beach and the, you know, where everything's going on, you're probably gonna need a car or a motorbike at the, you know, at the most. But uh, where I decided to stay at in uh, the hotels in this video, I didn't have to uh, have a car, I didn't need a motorbike. You know, I only came down for, you know, for the weekend, but uh, man, everything was so close. I mean, I walked everywhere. And then it also gives me, that excuse or you know the reason for me to get my steps in too you know so i try to at least get ten thousand and i was shooting for 20 but that didn't happen so anyway and i tend to get more steps when i when i go on the mini vacations and if you've been watching the videos you know that i went out to um patia uh pataya uh, earlier uh, in the month and uh and that's what i like about thailand you can just get on that bus and oh and that's what i was going to take the bus ride was only seven dollars to get down a little bit over seven dollars to get down here but uh uh versus the taxi if i took a taxi it would have been about maybe i think between 40 and 60 dollars but uh hey that's extra money that i could use to get get in, you know do a nice restaurant or you know if you're on if you're on that budget now if you have that unlimited uh supply of dinero cash moolah money then then it doesn't uh it doesn't matter but uh <laughs> for me you know i'm always thinking about man how uh, how can i get more you know more for less so anyway just giving you guys a view of the pier here go ahead shoot back around keep that reverse view again and uh, there's some additional footage on the live as well so if you guys want to go check out the live just remember guys don't forget to like it you know subscribe make sure you share the video get it out that way it gets out to more people you know kind of pushes me up a little bit so more people see it and uh you know motivates me well, i want to be motivated to get out here and get some stuff for you guys anyway i've got a lot of good subscribers uh give me they give me a lot of good feedback and and, and i definitely uh appreciate that so and thanks again to everyone uh, who has subscribed future subscribers and uh yeah i definitely 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 uh, appreciate it and today again is a holiday it's the king's birthday and that's what i try to do every time they have a holiday that falls like on a monday i try to plan a trip and usually there's a holiday here in thailand at least once a month there's one next month too so uh i don't know where i'm, where I'm going to go to next any suggestions go ahead put them in the, in the comments uh, i did uh pataya in you know gentleman area uh earlier in the month and uh this month uh, last month and then this month i went ahead and did the um uh, I'm here in, in Hua Hin, and then, uh, I don't know, I'm going to do Chiang Mai, but I'm going to reserve Chiang Mai because I want to uh, take the train instead of flying out there. I just want to get an experience on the train, and it's a night, it's a train that leaves at night, it's a sleeper train, so you can sleep, and then you get there, you know, that next morning, so uh, I just want to kind of try that. I'm going to just kind of zoom in on this fisherman uh, real quick, guys, hold on one second. He didn't catch anything, but uh, it's not always about that. I'm quite sure he'll catch something for the days over. Uh, and you'll always see the boats, and I'll show you those in a few minutes where the fishermen come out here, and you'll get a chance to taste their spoils if you hit the, uh, uh, you know, the main night market. So until next time, guys, take care of yourselves.